All right, so welcome if you're watching in the replay, if you're here live with us, welcome. Uh, streaming live from Mexico, Lo de Marcos on the Pacific coast. And today we're gonna do deep stretch, a combination of yin and some other poses for the quads and the hamstrings. And yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say about that. I thought it would be fun to start today with legs up the wall, which is a restorative way to stretch the backs of the legs. And we're gonna also finish with legs up the wall. I shouldn't tell you that, I'll tell you all my secrets, but we're gonna finish with legs up the wall too so that you can see the difference that the practice makes when you're coming into restorative. So finding a wall or you can put your legs up the couch, starting with either a folded blanket under your hips or you can use a flat bolster. And this is all about a couple of things, elevating the legs. So we're getting that circulation and blood flow into the heart, the lymph from the legs into the heart, creating, bringing relief to the legs. <clears throat> Having legs up the wall is a lot of therapeutic qualities. It can bring a lightness to the feet. So you just kind of kind of wiggle around until you get really nice and close to your wall or your couch. Make sure that your hips are level. You can rest the arms wherever they're comfy. Make yourself comfy. Close your eyes. And just start to move into your breath. Maybe take a couple of sighs here and just let the weight of your legs be heavy into your hips. Allow your shoulders to soften and release into the mat or the floor. I'll just spend a few breaths here, feeling the belly soft and just gently rising and falling with your breath. As soon as you come into stillness like this, oftentimes the mind wants to jump into action. So see if you can rest the mind on the rhythm of the breath. Create a nice even breath on your inhale. Silently counting to four and on your exhale, silently counting to four. So your inhale and your exhale are even length, same length breath, nice and slow. Be aware of how you're holding your face. Is there tension? anywhere in the forehead or around the eyes or around the jaw or the mouth. And just as you bring your attention to that part of your body, you can notice you have this ability to release it. The jaw, the mouth, the tongue, the forehead, the eyes. Letting the breath gently slow. So your counting gets a little bit slower if you're still counting the breath. Inhaling three, four, exhaling three, four. and bring the soles of the feet together and slide them down the wall or, or slide them down the couch if you're <laughs> at the couch. So you've got butterfly legs. You can just feel that nice gentle stretch in the inner groin here and take a couple of breaths. And then when 
you're ready, gently slide or roll to the side. Gently slide off your bolster if you're on it. And just gently walk yourself up. And we're gonna to come to laying on our side. So if you left your mat to go find the wall, come back to your mat and make a little pillow. Lay on your left side, pillow for your head. You could use your bolster for that or a block with a blanket on top of it. We're gonna do something that the um, my mom has been assigned by her, uh, so her physio or her chiropractor for strengthening the outer hips, strengthening the hips. So just laying on your left side, we're gonna do clamshell. You can rest your right hand on your outside of your right hip. Feet are together, knees are bent. And then as you inhale, separate the knees, lift the top knee away from the bottom knee without rolling the top hip back. So keeping the hips stacked. And then as you exhale, closing the knees together. It's not a big dramatic movement. It's a slow and controlled movement. Inhale and take the knees apart. Exhale, bring the knees back together. Nice and slow here. Hi, Janine. Inhale, just doing a few of these at your own pace. And the key to this is to keep the top hip stacked over the left hip so you're not moving the right hip, the top hip. You're not rolling onto your back as you're doing this. <laughs> Good, take a couple more rounds. Good, this is fun. It's like taking a group nap. Hi, everybody. <laughs> so this is called clamshell. Feet are together, knees are just moving apart. After a few of those, you'll start to feel the heat building in that outer hip. This is great for, you know, building the stability muscles in your hip that keep you stable, on your feet so you don't lose your balance. I like how it starts to feel after a few rounds. In the beginning, you don't feel anything, and then after a few rounds, you're like, oh, okay, that's what we're doing. It's right there. Okay, good. After the last one, bring the knees together and just rest completely. Relax all the muscles in your legs. Take a deep breath. Just let it relax. And then we'll take this right foot in right hand and pull the foot towards the buttock. We're gonna stretch the right quad, the front of the right quad. So by pulling the foot in towards the buttock, sometimes I find I need to straighten the bottom leg to get this stretch, but I don't know if that's, I don't know why, that might just be my anatomy, but when my knees are both bent, I can't get there. So you can play with that, see what works for you. I also find that if I press my hips towards the wall that's in front of my body when I'm laying on my side, it also helps to access that quad stretch. So I'll just take a couple breaths there. I'm gonna keep the knees relatively close together, close-ish. Breathing into front of right thigh. We're doing quads and hamstrings tonight, Janine. We've got a duo. Good, let's release. And bring your arm on the inside of the right leg and grasp onto your ankle. Make sure it's on the inside, not the outside, right? So you wanna bring the elbow on the inside of the knee, grab the ankle or the outer edge of the foot or the calf or the shin, and then slowly start to extend the right leg up. Getting a little stretch into the back of the leg. And we're just gonna range it a little bit here. So you're gonna bend and then straighten. Bend and straighten. I used to love this one when I was young, when I was a kid, cause I, I could, it made me feel really flexible. <laughs> Laying on your side and stretching this leg up. So I'm just doing that a couple times with breath. It doesn't matter if it doesn't straighten out all the way, right? You're just moving in that direction. Good. Nice. And then release. Bring the top leg down. We're going to roll over onto our right side. So you're laying on your right side in fetal position. I'm going to turn this way so I can still see you guys. Make sure your head is supported. You want your neck in line with the rest of your spine. So it's not propped too high and it's not hanging down too low. Clamshell to start. Left hand on the outer hip, and then feet stay together as you inhale, separating the knees, yeah. Exhale, bring the knees back together. Nice. 
Good. Yeah, that's it. That looks good, Janine. That looks good, Sue. Nobody is rolling their top hip back, so nice work of the, of the cameras on, people that I can see. Now I really invite you to go slow. Sometimes they do these with those re resistant bands, resistance bands or what have you, to make it harder. But I want you to go slow because there's a tendency to just kind of like do 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 do. But we want to slow it down. You can even close your eyes. Inhale to separate. Exhale to close. When we go slow, it's it's doing fine motor muscle control. It's working more of the fine motor muscle control that we have. It's different. <laughs> Don't take my word for it either. If you're not sure, go fast and then go slow and just compare how it's different. Make sure you're breathing. Such a small, like sneaky movement, isn't it? It's like when I start doing this, I think, oh, this isn't doing, this isn't going to do anything. And then after a little while, you're like, ooh, hmm. It's a party in that outer hip. So this is the move that my mom's doctor gives her for strengthening and stabilizing the hips, which is really important for everyone. It's not just about the flexibility in the hips. We also want stability. Ooh, okay, we've done quite a few rounds there. I didn't count them, but it's pretty close. Just take a rest, take a breath, let it all relax. And then come into the quad stretch, holding the left foot with left hand. Whatever you did on the other side that worked, do the same thing here. Pull the foot in towards the buttock. I've got my toes pointed. You can get kind of a nice stretch in the top of the foot if you press on the top of the foot. When you press it in, you can get a nice stretch there. And then pressing your hips forward towards the wall. It's kind of like you're doing the tailbone scooping action where you're <laughs> Glutes are firing a little bit. Oh, and then Sari sneaks in. I <laughs> love how you guys are all sliding in. <laughs> the last. Good. Make sure you're breathing there. Right into the front of the left thigh. Good. Nice. Ah, apologize for the acoustics in here. I guess that's why the Wi-Fi or the EMF is so good because it's all kind of stone. I don't know, maybe that helps. Okay, we're gonna release the foot and bring arm on the inside. Grab the ankle or the outer edge of the foot and then start to extend the leg up. And then bend, elbows on the inside of the knee. Good, yeah, moving in and out. This feels nice, yeah, moving in and out. If you're one that likes to synchronize stuff with breath a lot, then you'll be exhaling when you straighten, because that's the effortful part, inhaling when you bend. Yeah, just going a little bit further each time, just challenging yourself a little there at the end of the movement. Like a little straighter by further, I mean straighter. Good, nice. Let's do one more. Good, nice. And then release. Beautiful. We're going to roll over onto our backs and hug both knees in. Give the knees a little hug. Oh, I'm all tied up here with my dress. <laughs> Rock a little bit side to side. Whew. I can feel that outer hips from that clamshell when I hug my knees in. It feels nice. Just take a couple of breaths here as you rock your back on the earth. Hmm. 